Hey everyone, it's uh, November 12th and uh, it's just about 80 degrees out today and uh, this is long overdue but uh, I'm going to start to uh, do my tractor diary here. have uh, a brand new Mahindra 1526 we bought, I've had it uh, like three or four weeks now and uh, I've been holding off doing it because there's been a few issues and uh, part of this video I'll be sending to the dealership so um, I'd like to go through and you know get caught up with with all the issues uh, I have had with uh, getting this tractor so uh, first off uh, they were a week late with delivery which uh, wasn't the end of the world but uh, it definitely caused a uh, an issue an incident I definitely wasn't happy about that fact, but uh, anyway, the uh, I did get the tractor. They delivered it and everything, and uh, they spent a lot of time going over it and everything. And uh, I was pretty happy when they left. But uh, you know, obviously, you don't uh, completely go over the tractor like you know a hundred percent. But uh, anyway, shortly after they left, uh, I had a. Uh, I had a hydraulic leak here in the back. Uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just uh, from the hose here. It was in this was uh, this hose right here. right here but uh, anyway the fitting wasn't tight and uh, I took care of that so uh, that was uh, that was one issue another issue I had was uh, over here I had a, a top cover leak within the first couple hours and uh, it was over here I'll put some pictures in it in of uh, the leak it, it used to have So, uh, they sent a mechanic out, I, I was really happy about that, and, uh, actually fixed it right here on the property. Unfortunately, uh, it's still leaking oil. Uh, you can probably see it. Is, this is the same area, but it's not leaking from the same spot. Uh, the top cover leak before was coming from, from this area. Uh, you'll see in the pictures. But, uh, now, like, uh... You know, it, there still is oil in the same area. I don't know how well the camera can pick it up. And I, I did just touch it with my finger earlier. But, uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of oil on the, uh, you know, on the gasket material there. And, uh, unfortunately, this, it's not, you know, it's not leaking from the same spot. I'll show you exactly where it is leaking from. You can see up here with this top bolt I don't know how well the camera is gonna catch it I have a uh, I have better pictures of it but anyway the uh, the oils coming up through the top of the bolt head leaking out and uh, running down across and uh, I'll show you exactly there the, I can actually get a better shot of it uh, the tractor hasn't been used for a while but uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but, you know, somewhere in that area, you can see a couple streaks coming down, and uh, that's where the oil's, oil's leaking from this time, so uh, this video will be, uh, will be me uh, fixing that, that issue right now. Uh, the way it stands, uh, the dealership is like a five hour drive away for me, I knew that going into this. But uh, the time it takes me and the expense for me to drive it back to the dealership for them to fix it a second time really isn't worth it to me. I'll just leave it at that. Um, I, uh, this isn't going to void my warranty. They, uh, I've been assured by uh, 
by the service manager that uh, it, it won't be a, a problem and uh, I had him send send me out a, a tube of the uh, the factory gasket material silicone or uh, three bond I guess it's called for this so uh, yeah I'll get to it in a little bit but uh, I wanted to get you know a short video uh, caught up of uh, of where I am with the with the tractor other than that I really love the tractor I mean uh, it's got good power for its size uh, I'm really impressed with uh, the little bit I have used it there's uh, here let's go over here was there 12.3 hours on the tractor and uh, I'm gonna throw in uh, also I did a hardware check I forget somewhere maybe like around 10 hours down here and uh, I really wasn't happy with what I found you know so I went over a bunch of other hardware most of it was good but uh, this stuff under here wasn't and uh, as far as I can tell there really shouldn't have been really any stress to those parts another thing that that kind of bothered me was uh, you can see over here these are like the right size bolts and everything they, they come to the end really nicely and everything these are a little long back here but uh you know in those but I'm sure that you know nothing wrong with that but on the other side you know kind of the same thing you know this hardware is a little different you know it's not the end of the world kind of thing but it is a brand new tractor and stuff and you know maybe it's a little thing but these are kind of things you look at you know uh, yeah most everything else was good uh, unfortunately I didn't get both sides the, the the one side was so loose I uh, decided to grab a camera I hadn't even planned on filming that so you know there was that and uh, you know after five hours you are supposed to go over all the hardware and stuff to make sure uh, everything's tight so definitely you want to do that with these tractors you know uh, mine was at 10 hours but then again I really wasn't using it that much since uh, I have this leak issue but uh, enough about that I'll uh, I'm gonna drop the uh, the box blade and uh, we'll get to it so this should be a pretty exciting video hopefully it goes well I've uh, I've watched the uh, Mahindra mechanic do it once so technically I've uh, I've been walked through this job and uh, I'll, I'll show you exactly uh, why this leaks and uh, you know exact you know the exact cause and everything so alrighty be back in a minute <laughs> 